Stonefish Hi friends today we gonna see some camouflage animals, how they protect themselves from the predators. Camouflage animals are the animals that use camouflage to disguise themselves as per their surroundings to protect them from predators. Predators, its primary purpose is to allow stonefish to ambush their prey. The stonefish is best at pretending to be a stone and is capable of less color matching compared to the scorpion fish. The scorpion fish has more prominent eyes and can change its color to better match its surroundings, including colorful corals. Stonefish lives close to coral reefs and underwater rocks. It often lies buried in the sand in the shallow water. If you inadvertently step on a stonefish thinking it's a harmless rock, it will pop up its dorsal spines and release venom from two sacs at the base of each spine. Unsurprisingly, the more venom that is injected, the worse it is for you. Kill an adult human in under an hour. Stings result in terrible pain, swelling, necrosis, tissue death, and even death. The Orange Oak Leaf Butterfly The Orange Oak Leaf Butterfly, called the Dead Leaf Butterfly due to its shape of a fallen dead leaf when its wings are closed, is a dazzling orange and black with a deep blue base. The brightly colored Indian Jezebel has an eye-popping visas. The Orange Oak Leaf Butterfly is National Butterfly of India. Habitat The Dead Leaf Butterfly, aka Kalama Inicus or the Orange Oak Leaf Butterfly, lives in tropical Asia, like India, Thailand, Vietnam, and Japan. They feed on sap, overripe fruit, and nutrients found in puddles. Oma the orange oak leaf is a powerful flyer and usually flies in dense forests with good rainfall, amongst undergrowth and along stream beds. It is attracted to tree sap and overripe fruit, and is also known puddle. An average butterfly species has an adult lifespan of two weeks or less. A life expectancy of about two days, and live ten days at the most. No adult butterfly can live more than a year. The butterfly exhibits polyphenism, i.e. there are specific dry season and wet season forms which differ in coloration and size, the wet season form tends to be smaller. The wingspan of the butterfly ranges from 85 to 110 mm. Leaf Insect Animal their appearance is an almost exact mimic of the leaves on which they feed right down to the veins through the leaf. They have a lime green body with a brown edge and two brown dots on their back. As an insect they have six legs. The front legs have a larger upper half colored similar to the body. On top of their head are a pair of short antennae. Females have small forewings lying on either edge of the abdomen. These have the same vein pattern as their body. Males have much larger hind wings and can fly with the body of a giant leaf insect can measure up to 10 centimeters, 4 inches, long. Diet Giant leaf insects feed solely on leaves making them a herbivore. These may come from oak, guava and mango trees. Behavior Giant leaf insects will sway in the breeze which helps them to avoid detection by predators. When walking they move slowly with a swaying gait. Every few steps they freeze for a short period. The giant leaf insect is able to regenerate its legs. If one is lost they will gain a new one next time they molt. This ability stops once they reach adult size. Most of their activity takes place at night. Leaf-tailed gecko Leaf-tailed geckos have long, flat bodies with triangular heads and broad, leaf-like tails. The giant leaf-tailed gecko, or common flat-tailed gecko, is one of the larger species. They have big, marbled eyes with red concentric striations around the pupil set against a background of silver, tan or gold. These lizards have a mottled pattern, with colors varying across species from tans and greens, to grays and browns. They also possess the ability to camouflage with the colors of their environment, as well as the shapes and vegetation of the forests they inhabit. Fringed flaps on their lower jaws and the sides of their bodies flatten against a surface, obscuring their outline. The increased surface area reflects and refracts light, breaking the line between the perimeter of their body, and the surface beneath them. With these adaptations, leaf-tailed geckos can almost completely camouflage against dry leaves or the bark of trees. Food-slash-eating habits 
Giant leaf-tailed geckos are carnivorous and eat a variety of invertebrates. Land snails make up an important part of their diet. At the Smithsonian's National Zoo, these geckos eat a range of insects. Sand crabs Crabs from a single species rely on different camouflage techniques depending on what habitat they live in, new research shows. They found that crabs from mud flats closely match the appearance of the mud they live on, while rock pool crabs did not match the background but instead relied on disruptive coloration, the use of high contrast patterns to break up the appearance of the body outline. Shore crabs are the most common crab found on Britain's coasts, familiar to anyone who goes rock pooling, and the crabs examined in this study came from six sites in Cornwall. The crabs are highly variable in color and pattern, and are often extremely difficult to see, 